of a bruising battle with Ali Huang. Yeah, I'll talk about bruising battle at the Men's Echo final. Cool. Cuomo got second last year, and I'm sure he came here for gold. And then he's got silver again, back to back silver at the World Championships. That, uh, that must be crushing for him. Mohamed Ayub Brijani of Tunisia, our referee for this match. And Bill Amater of the Czech Republic, our video referee. She feels that she's got to come out on the attack here. And that is her attack. Yeah, she's doing it. Established right of way with the beat. Lovely attack there from Rossini. A bit off target there. the attack well there, but off target. Flick across the chest. And that, that remains Serena Rossini's attack with level at three. He's understandably nervous on, on the attack. And this time, uh, Kikuchi fails on her attack. You see it gets uh, an easy counter. So she has got some options when she comes forward. She's got to find the blade. And this time she finds it in defense, but she, when she comes forward, she's got to find the blade, or she's got to draw that counter attack and then make sure she finishes on what is a very tight and compact target area. It's well defended by uh, Kikuchi. To some extent, I think Kikuchi might be playing into Rossini's hands here by coming out with a more aggressive approach than she did for the uh, semi-final against Blow. Referee's going to have a look at this one. My gut feeling... Oh, it's a card first off. My gut feeling, and it's going to be a card for, for uh, Rossini as well as Kikuchi, my gut feeling is that this was a counter across But both of them got cards for infringement, so no hit. Back resets. Yeah, two parries there. Second one goes to the Italian. And I really think that Kikuchi's got to lay off this aggressive approach.
Gets, a, gets one on the counter, sharp. They will step away, we'll go to our one minute break and I would imagine that Serena Rossini probably needs it. She just came out a little bit too much, on, a little bit too aggressively. And as time goes away from her in this fight, she may well have to revert to it. And I think she just needs to just take her time a little bit more. Looks like Bodan, the Japanese coach, is encouraging a little more, a little more movement from Kikuchi. Italians are, you can see uh, Giovanni Trellini, uh, incredibly famous and well decorated Italian women's foilist, looking on with great intent. And I know that she uh, is a, a coach, a very successful coach uh, in Italy. I wonder if uh, Rossini is in her camp. Capucci uh, has come out with more movement. It's, 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 a, it's a almost an attack into preparation. I am not, I'm tempted to, to not to call it a counter-attack, but it is a counter-attack. It's a closing counter-attack, but it does stop the attack in its, uh, in its making. Our blade was met there. And uh, the referee is going to be asked, and I think she was thinking about calling for a video, uh, but the Italian coaches said, no, you're probably not going to get that one. I'm, I'm pretty sure that Rossini did look for the blade, but I think she was giving it a beat attack. Oh, nice. Well, Rossini's, in some ways, I suppose, been forced to come out on the attack to stop Kikuchi going at her, uh, but now it's... Uh, it's a bit of a changing of the guard because Rossini needs to be a bit careful, more careful going forwards. Because this defense from the attacker, from the Japanese fencer is so solid. Just stood there with her arm out, the Italian. Well, I think she's still feeling the effects of that semi-final match. And she's been fencing all day. I know that she's tough and she's Italian. And uh, like that, but that had to take some wind out of her sails. And I think that Baudin has instructed Kikuchi to go after her, and she's doing it. Well, it's the defense that's been working for her in this second period. So she may well be pressuring her, but she wants Rossini to attack, but never right off the Italian forest. Blade met. Uh, Rossini will call for a video here because she feels that she took the parry. And you see that uh, clearly Giovanni Trellini is, uh, is one of the coaches of uh, Rossini because she's passing instructions on. And the call will stand. Lovely, again, this time this is st it's a stop hit. So she's got some great variety in defense. We saw the closing counter-attack. We've seen multiple parry repost and then a stop hit. 
to show that she's got everything in defense. And here, in close quarters, she's so close to getting the world title. Again, beat attack for me. Referee calls it as a power of pass. Both fences agree with that. Oh, she, she must be just so desperate to get this last hit. She's so, so close to taking the world title here, Kikuchi. But you can just almost feel her tighten up a tiny bit. Here she comes on the attack. You see he loses a weapon there. But she may have just taken a little hit to the hand. She's tired. Nice target there. Parry repost is given for Rossini. For the first parry is Kikuchi's, but Rossini then puts in a counter parry. Surely she can't come back from this, the Italian. Her adrenaline's about to kick in. And she's done it, Kikuchi has shown that she can attack as well as defend, but ultimately in that fight, it was the defense that broke her away from uh, Rossini, the Italian. Brilliant performance from Kamaki Kikuchi. Kamaki Kikuchi of Japan, our 2017 junior women's foil world champion, and a brilliant performance in every match today. Serena Rossini, World number five goes home with the silver medal. And it, it is Iman Blow and Ali Wang with 